Hey YouTube, I just wanted to come back here after y'all show so much love for the mini liquor bottle cards and I wanted to share with you all just a few tips and tricks, but also use Cricut Print and Cut this time. So you'll see on the website, the listing here, please read it. It comes in four different formats. It's up to you which you choose, okay? Again, this is the link that I'm going to use. I have two websites, but this one, you can read it better. You can check it out more. And um, it's blank template. comes in four formats. The SVG is only $3. We're going to use the SVG today, all right? It's a digital download. We're going to use that in our Cricut. We're going to do a new project, and I'm going to upload the SVG. You can browse, but I'm going to just drag and drop from that digital download file that you get when you purchase. All right, with the purchase, you get this. There's two little circles and arches here, or you know, four, I guess, depending on how you count it. And this is basically your SVG. That one is for the Patron. This one is for everything else, okay? So you got one for like the wide neck bottles and one for the standard size. These are all your layers when you upload in a Cricut. That backing is the card, okay? Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just going to ungroup everything because I want to play around with this template and share it with you guys. But first, let me copy it in case we wanna make two different card sizes. This is easier because the template includes five by seven and six by six, but let's just duplicate it and you know, we can work in Cricut without having to do another upload. All right, so you've got the different sizes here. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to make one card six by six and one card five by seven. What you don't want to do is to ever change like the size of the arch in the circle because those are fitted already for your liquor. All right, so here's my five by seven card. Here's my six by six. I'm gonna go ahead and ungroup it as I mentioned earlier. And now I have one card that I use for the, the Patron, which is the wider circle, and one card that I'll use for just the standard mini liquor bottle sizes because they have a narrow neck, so they work better. All right, so I'm just kind of pretending like, you know, I've already designed it, setting it up. I'm going to get rid of this stuff because I don't need any more. I just press delete on my keyboard. I'm going to select all of that and just kind of move it together. Now, the fun thing about this is we get to design. And, you know, I'm going to group this arch and circle together because I want it to move together instead of moving separately. So select it and then group it. You can also right click and hit group if you want. It's up to you how you want to move it or control G, whatever works. Okay. So now I've got my two cards. I got my little arches. I can change the color of them. We'll make a tequila card and a Jameson card today. All right. So pretty standard, pretty easy, you know, but the cool thing is you guys can do this in any shape, whatever you want. Like you don't have to do a square. You could do a heart. You could do anything. It's completely up to you because really what matters is where you place these heart um, circles and arches because that's what's going to hold the liquor. Okay. And this is a great card you can use for any occasion. I just was like, oh, it's Valentine's Day. Let's do it. So with that in mind, we're going to go to Etsy and just check out some clip art. I was looking for ladies who had their hands up. So it looked like they were holding the liquor. This is pretty cool. You know, I just was searching like fashion clip art and stuff like that. And you'll see a lot of different options here. You don't have to have something where the hand is up. You could just have, you know, a friendship card and put some liquor on it. It's just that easy. But it's a great little thing that you can give to somebody instead of the standard, you know, wine. So we're going to use this clip art because this is what I found. And I loved it. I liked the hand was up, the different body sizes, their dolls. You know, they got the drinks in the hand. When you download it and you open up your files and extract them, you get all these different ladies, different hairstyles, different drinks. So we're going to go ahead and design. Back to Cricut. We're just going to upload, just like we did an SVG, you know, and we're going to upload these as print then cut images. So you upload, you browse, you upload it, you select what you want. And I'm just going to go through this pretty quickly. I select them as complex images and I just upload them and continue add to canvas. There's no need to take out a background because I want it as a print then cut. These are all the images that I uploaded. I'm going to go ahead and add them to my canvas. Once I uploaded everything, I just added it in by selecting it in my images. Now, I'm going to go ahead and get these ladies dressed because, you know, we've got these dolls that, you, like I said, you can dress them how you want, put the hair on that you want. So let me go ahead and put these ladies together, put some clothes on her, and we'll have something, you know, like a little friendship card or a little Galentine's Day here. All right. 
So we'll get her dressed and, you know, she got her friend. They're going to have some drinks or just, you know, celebrate good times. Come on. All right. So let's speed this up a bit. Yeah, put her clothes on right so that they fit. You know, we got two besties out for margaritas, yada, yada, yada. Just want to have a good time. I think it's great to have these little adult party favors because I don't have any little ones. So, all right, I'm going to go back to uploading and browsing an image. That upload is on the bottom left. I want to get a little margarita in her hand. So, I have it off the play cup, Um, excuse me, off the page right now. But you want to make sure it's on the page because... Cricut is going to like cut the shape, is going to cut the outline of that. And I don't want that. I want it to actually be a square card. So I was just kind of playing with it, trying to get it together, get it right. And you see how they're off the page right now? If I left that, like Cricut will cut out the outline of her leg and stuff. So it's kind of cool, but that's not what I was going for right now. So you'll see me fix that up better at the end. All right. So I put the circle back. I put that back kind of near her arm because I want her to look like she's holding the Patron bottle. We're going to add some text. I'm going to do some kerning just by making it tighter. And let's get into it. All right. It's going to say, you know, you're the tequila to my margarita. Um, I don't know where I come up with this stuff. Have I read that before? Probably. I don't know. Just thinking things through. But just add your text in. And um, one font was Babette. The other tequila font I'm not sure. I'd have to go back and look. But it's all Cricut font. So you guys can find these. I didn't use anything except Cricut fonts. And if you're not a Cricut subscriber, um, you can just pay for the font as you need. All right. So here we go. We're going to change the colors. But I'm just going to move that square out the way. And I'm going to group everything for now and uh, change the colors. So let me mess with some design here and get into it. The first one that I made, most of them that I make is in Photoshop. So using Cricut is a little different for me sometimes to design just because that's not my place to design i'll come here just to upload stuff and cut but you know i can work it out we can figure it out together and i can do it we can do it you guys can do this print and cut is nothing to be afraid of just want to take you through the right steps so you get it done so i'm just going to center it make sure your words don't aren't too low or in the way of the bottle just take into account how big your bottle is or how tall it is so that you have enough space on the card for the bottle to rest and it's not blocking the words or anything. So now let's set it up to print and cut. The one thing we want to do is make sure anything we don't want to cut is flattened. The words and the dolls will be flat so Cricut doesn't cut it out. Then I'm going to select the whole image and attach it. So now it's all together. But let's design our second card and come back to that. I went to Etsy. I'm just going to, you know, this is the old clip art with there. We've talked about that. I found clip art that I like that didn't have a bunch of separate like dolls. And I'm feeling like a braid. So I'm going to share this clip with you all or excuse me, this link with you all for below. She came with a whole bunch of different people. But again, upload, print and cut. I like her. She came in really big. Let's make her small. And let's add her to the card. This is so simple, y'all. Very easy way to make some cute stuff for people. And these also can just be greeting cards without the liquor. But a cute little tutorial, print and cut way to do things. And um, add people in who look like you or make stuff for your, you know, your family, your friends, your man, your, whomever. Make men's ones. Those always go well. So I set it up. But because of that Jameson bottle, I want to go ahead and make sure I have room. So what I did was I measured how tall the Jameson bottle is about four inches. Most of them are um, the mini liquor bottles. And I'm just going to add a four inch square onto this so I can make sure I accommodate for how tall that Jameson is. Like three and a half to four inches. Boom. That way, this is where the bottle will be. And I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of this square, this rectangle. So now I know the bottle is going to be there. It's next going to be up there. And I'm going to add some text. Cheers to the freaking weekend. I'm going to flatten again the stuff that I don't want to cut, which is the words in her. And then I'm going to attach it all together. Do not flatten what you want to cut. So I'm not going to flatten the circle and the arch because I want Cricut to cut those out. But I will attach everything so that it's just kind of like a chain link and we're all working together. We're all in place. We're all in order. All right. So go ahead and hit make it print. I send it to my printer. The Cricut is telling you what to do now. So make sure you pay attention to what your Cricut is telling you to do. Here's my printed image. Your Cricut is going to cut around this square. 
all right so it cut it out and it's also going to cut out that hole remember there it is boom my cricket dragged a little bit that's okay i cut both of them out other one was off camera didn't film but it looks like this when it's done i also added a backing to some of them with another just piece of cardstock that's about 0.5 bigger than the card so these bottles they work like you see the crown royal in the background the patron is heavy like i said this is enough captain morgan can work just look at how the bottles are shaped and just their height so this was our print and cut of the tequila and margarita y'all this is a print and cut of the cheers to the freaking weekend i'm just going to use some foam tape i'm going to place it down on the card just because that gives the bottle a bit of a lift so it's not pressing down so much on the paper and it's not like making the paper heavy and buckly see if you can find um non-permanent foam tape but mine was permanent so it kind of ripped the paper you saw there when i had done a trial all right so look at these examples i couldn't find my hennessy but the hennessy could be on there jameson on there tequila on here and watch i'm just going to add that patron remember we used the thicker neck or the bigger circle for the neck of the patron bottle add it on there make sure it's taped down boom there's my card love it thank you so much for watching i hope you stick around and subscribe until the next one bye